Ex- but expect <laughs> what like kind of game it is. Yeah. And don't try to to like force it. it it's not a multiplayer game, so don't no. expect that. Um, but yeah, I think I, people uh, have in some sort of way created a standard. Yeah. And if it's not there to them, it's it's, it's the expectation thing. Yeah. I think, and it was the same thing with Destiny. A lot of people expected certain things, and then when the game didn't deliver that, yeah, then they thought it's shit. And uh, Destiny has problems, but. I think they they make it sound like it had bigger problems than it did because yeah. that they expected certain things. Yeah, people were uh, expecting. Uh, I think a much deeper story in yeah. Destiny. Yeah, that, the funny thing is that's sort of the opposite of the order. Yeah, exactly. Um, I thought. Yeah, I thought the order was great. Uh, I thought the story was great. I had fun with the with the shooting, and I I understand some people didn't find the shooting fun, um, and uh, had problems with that. And in the end, it, it matters whether you sort of enjoy that sort of game and i i think what's there is well made but i mean it's not for, i guess it's not for everyone um yeah. one thing i did was getting tired of was sort of the picking up of object when you're forced yeah. to do it yeah because i actually really liked finding some of the items and like checking out the newspapers and the photos and stuff and but when it, yeah but when it forced you to do it there was one point where i was forced to pick up an apple and yeah. turn it and there was and nothing about, about the apple it's like that's not fun but if it's me we've talked about this before where it's like like The Last of Us, where it's like, if I can go choose to snoop around yeah. and find stuff and find extra stories, that is awesome. Yeah. But if it if it forces me to do something and it's like, I don't even pick it up and then put it down, it's like, I need to roll it around for fucking yeah. five minutes. That's super annoying. Um, so uh, I don't know what that was about because so, sometimes you, do, you just have, have to, uh, to roll to a certain ro- amount. To rotate that. your... your, uh, your wrist for two times yeah. and, that, and that was it yeah. I don't know what I think part of it is they spend so much time and money on animating some of that stuff to make it look yeah. so good they're like people fucking see maybe, this maybe, maybe, look how crazy the hell is maybe it was because they want to to win the the, the design of the yeah. year or best graphic or something yeah. most but graphics most graphic yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I but I think that uh, I think game gameplay wise it, it was not a thing that they uh, should no not that been I doing agree. more yeah. of so um, so the order is is sort of this this uh, this new boring class that n- no one can figure out what is yeah but to some he's great and to some he's not great yeah uh, yeah I mean yeah I, I think a lot of people are like you where they 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 weren't really entertained by a lot of it like I, th- I think you can't really say anything about how beautiful it looks but i don't think that should be reason enough to buy it unless i guess in that way it's sort of when you buy a ps4 and you're like you have a girlfriend or something look like yeah, yeah this right. is why we needed this that's this right. looks different than a ps3 game yeah. so maybe in that way but uh i guess it's hard figuring out if you're gonna like the gameplay uh it is very split i've talked to a lot of people who really liked it had a lot of fun liked the story liked the combat i've talked to a lot of people who are like it felt a little bit off the yeah, it's beautiful but i didn't enjoy it and i i get I actually really enjoyed the pacing, but some people felt like the the mix of cutscenes and and gameplay were were off. But yeah, yeah. I guess we'll uh, we'll see. Maybe uh, well, it takes. I hope we'll get more because I really liked it. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, what else have you played? I've played uh, because of <laughs> of Evolve. When I was waiting for Evolve, I was playing Left 4 Dead. Yeah. Because it's the same developers. And yeah, they Left made the too. Turtle Rock made the original Left 4 Dead, yeah. but not Turtle. Oh, oh, no, they but didn't not, make the second one. That, no, they didn't make. I think they might have made some DLC for it, but they didn't yeah, make Left 4 Dead too. The thing about uh, Left 4 Dead Two, when you bought it, you get all the maps from the first game, and I bought the first game as well. Yeah. So it's kind of odd that you actually bought one game and then you just. Uh, get it yeah. for free in the second game. So I played uh, Left 4 Dead 2 uh, for for a certain amount of, amount of hours with uh, one of my friends, and that's also the thing with Left 4 Dead. You have to play it with friends. Um, I also played it um, just online, and I was screaming. I, I would. I'm not talking to people when I when I'm uh, playing it online. So I was just I was just screaming to the computer. Can you heal me up? And they was just like um, they went off. And one time when I was playing. Um, I was so low on health that I could see I I can't I can't stand the whole uh, map. So I just uh, I just rushed the whole uh, map uh, to to uh, distract actually the the special infected who was playing against us. And uh, when I was doing that, my team said, "What is he doing?" And they were just kicking me. So I think the problem with 
Left for Dead is some sort of the community, and it's yeah. too easy to kick people and grief each other. And yeah, stuff exactly. Like that. Because yeah, yeah. I, I didn't, I didn't get the chance to tell them why I was doing it. That I was actually doing for my team and yeah, not yeah. for my own good. There's been a lot of problems in games like that. It's been in, I think, any sort of online multiplayer where thing I said in Evolve. It's been yeah. there in Destiny. Luckily, I think most of the Destiny people have been really good, but people have been going AFK there and trying to get the XP from strikes without doing anything. And, yeah. You know, I, I read a thing recently on Reddit where someone had, because they just added matchmaking in the weekly strikes, that they got to the end, uh, this guy got to the end and the other two weren't doing anything, and then they, they pushed him off a platform and got him killed and wouldn't rest him and there was no like time resting in that and no. they had waited for like an hour and a half because they wanted him to leave the the, the strike yeah and then invite their friend in and he was like no I'm, I'm staying here yeah but like that he has to waste time because he didn't want them to sort of pay off yeah. and the fact that they would do that they didn't even help get to that no, point no exactly and then at the end they were just trying to get him to leave and and i mean there, you will get that in all games i guess yeah. it's trying to minimize it and then if you play with your friends you'll sort of get around it a little bit yeah i think if, unless you've got very bad friends yeah <laughs> but, i mean but then it's different because i definitely know like when you play together you sort of yeah annoy each other as well but yeah. then you don't do it for two hours and no, then, no. then you can sort of say okay now we've had i, your, I won't rest you and yeah. then you do it anyway yeah, yeah. but yeah i think it's it's uh it's bad that that those things are happening, but you can't do anything about no, it. No, that's because, the thing. Because then a host should stay watch all servers. You can't. You can't. Av- av- yeah, you can't avoid it no. uh, completely. But so just try to be careful and yeah. thoughtful about yeah. it. Yeah, for but sure. that's the thing about, uh, for instance, uh, uh, Counter Strike. Yeah, I think I am not sure uh, in global offense, but the thing about the source was um, a host was in the game and he could just say if he didn't think people were playing fair but they were also sometimes they were just using their powers yeah. so that's not good either but i think i think the game industry is some sort of way trying to make game that well that you you won't piss off each other yeah you have it's to make it a benefit to yeah. do it i saw someone talk about the thing in the vault where they were like hey if you if you don't if you do bad stuff do some sort of you know that there's some sort of penalty but it's also we've had a thing in call of duty now where people are trying to go for these challenges every day yeah. to get things where it's like get kills with the sniper in this mode and stuff and if people are not good then they die a lot and don't yeah. kill a lot and then it looks like they're doing the reverse boosting where they're dying yeah. a lot to get to play against worse people yeah yeah uh and then they get penalized by actually just not being good because the Call of Duty game, they're trying, Sledgehammer is trying to, the people who are fucking up for everyone by just dying a lot on yeah. purpose, that they get punished. But then, you know, there it's, yeah. it's never a perfect thing. I also remember in Destiny, people would get invited into doing a raid or a nightfall. Yeah. And then, you know, there's a host and he can kick people and then they got to the end and then he kicked some people right before and then invited his friends. Yeah. And then people just didn't get the reward. Just don't and, do and that. And that's why, like, it's, you gotta you gotta know that can happen yeah play with friends if you can of course there's a problem in destiny as well if you don't have friends playing destiny you need to play with strangers because there's no matchmaking in the race so i mean it's shitty but it happens i also played uh counter-strike global offense and first time i was playing competitive i was actually being kicked because i wasn't doing great enough for them yeah and they was like I I actually didn't say anything to yeah. them because I was like, if you want to kick me, then I I don't care. That's yeah, so a fight you play. can't win. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because then then I I, I would rather play with someone yeah. one else. Um. So w- when they were doing that, I was like, okay, just just look at my score. Yeah. I'm not the greatest, but but you can you can see how many hours you have been yeah. playing, and you can see how many competitive games you have yeah. been played. And I was like, this is my first time. Why would you kick me? I, I can't. But that's, I can't that's the way some of those... It's the same with, with games like League of Legends and Dota, yeah. where people yell at you if you don't play your character yeah. perfectly. Which means you don't really have a chance of ever getting into that game unless you have friends playing it. Yeah, exactly. Because you're never going to learn. You're not going to no. know it to begin with. And no. then, I mean, I think a lot of people should maybe think about that. That if they want people to play it... I mean, those games don't have that problem because millions of people are playing it. Yeah. But, you're never gonna get more people into it because you're sort of scared new players exactly, away. Exactly, because because the the community is is not that great no. to new uh, no, sort of players. toxic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's it's a very uh, 
there's a very small amount of of people who who can get into it yeah. without having any friends. But are you gonna continue playing Counter Strike Go? And you, what are you playing it on? on I'm, PC? I'm playing uh, on uh, yeah, on yeah. PC. Um, and it's I, I don't play competitive, uh, and I'm I never understood the thing about uh, paying. Uh, very big amounts of money to get some skins oh yeah uh, there's a big thing with like guns yeah. and stuff so that, i yeah. just play stuff like i think it called race arm yeah. which is uh the new uh gg from counter strike source which is a gun game yeah um so you kill one and i think you have to kill two in in arms race uh and then when you kill them you get a new weapon yeah and the, the classic gun game is like there's 20 weapons you yeah. start with one weapon Get a kill with it, you move on to the next one, and yeah. then it's fastest through all the weapons yeah. wins. Yeah, and uh, I played that a lot, uh, but also just uh, the old school uh, with uh, planting the bomb and uh, yeah. rescuing the hostage. Yeah, because it's it's more fun with. The that's new what graphics. I see everyone is playing in Counter Strike Go. And yeah, it's, it's a it's a very important but, part but of Call of Duty. But that's the starts. competitive the competitive yeah. maps who uh, I think they're playing very much competitive, yeah. uh, and I think maybe uh, people should should learn how to play. Uh, competitive by not playing competitive um but the the thing is when you play competitive people are saying you shouldn't buy anything in this round and you have to buy this weapon in this yeah. round and i'm like why can't i decide that myself yeah. but that's that's a team thing you have you have to do what everybody else is doing yeah. but if you're not used to it in counter strike so yeah, you can't really then, know. then you can't know yeah. So uh, I'm not into uh, to the competitive stuff and I might play competitive tomorrow uh, because I'm, yeah, yeah because I'm uh, I'm seeing one of my friends who is very much into the competitive stuff okay. um so so he can just uh, teach you a little bit he can teach me a little bit but but I don't think that I'm 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 going to love it that much I love uh, Counter Strike uh, Source and I also like uh, Global Offense but I but I'm not into competitive I'm I'm not sure if I ever will that. It takes a lot of time as well too, yeah. if you want to play it. I've, I'm really enjoying watching. I've watched a little bit of Counter Strike Go, but I'm mostly watching Call of Duty. And it, and these past couple months, I've watched more than I've actually played it, and I yeah. really enjoy watching those uh, games. Um, so I think that's great. But playing it, yeah, it takes a lot of time. I'm thinking of playing a little bit more Call of Duty now and playing playing ranked. But it's like you do need to play a lot, and you sort of need to have a group as well. Yeah. Right? So uh, yeah, that's that's tough. All right, do you have more on your list of I've games? I played uh, the Last of Us multiplayer. Okay, actually, cool. Yeah. Um, because I wasn't competitive uh, or not competitive. No, <laughs> not competitive. Uh, I was starting from scratch, from level zero, actually. Okay. Uh, and that was because I didn't play multiplayer when the game was out on uh, PS4. On PS4, yeah, yeah. Uh, because of my internet connection again. Um, so I, I'm playing. Um, I don't remember how how many times, but I play with my friends. Um, and that's very, very. Uh, that's a cool. surprisingly good multiplayer. Yeah, because I felt when that when they were announcing that and they weren't talking about that until very close to launch, and that scared me a lot about yeah. it. Um, and I thought, oh, this is going to be one of those tacked on <laughs> multiplayers. Yeah. And then playing it, I was like, well, this is actually really cool. Yeah. Like the actual gameplay, and then the meta game as well. Where like, you, have you linked it to Facebook? Mm, yeah, yeah. And it's like and it you're... doesn't post on Facebook, no. which I think a lot of people are going to be afraid of. It doesn't do that. It just pulls in names. Yeah, and so you have cool. this group of like <laughs> names from your friends, and then it says, "Oh, your buddy uh, Henrik is sick and is dying." Yeah. And you're like, "Holy fuck!" Like <laughs> that's cool. I also I also read one where it says that uh, I think it was uh, I don't remember one of my family, and it was saying he's uh, he's uh, trying to to eat a raccoon. Yeah, and I was like, what? <laughs> It's just so sick. And it's just of, saying a name, but it just yeah. feels more real than it, yeah, exactly. would think it would. But I think the thing about The Last of Us uh, multiplayer is that you have, again, just like in the single player, you have so little amount of ammo. Yeah, and you need to go pick it up. And exactly, stuff. Yeah. and that's the fun part yeah. about it. Um, and making, like, if you want to make a grenade or exactly. a, a exactly. better melee weapon. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I I love that as well, and I'm I'm thinking yeah, I'm, about I'm it. maybe I'll start playing that yeah. as well. That's yeah, a that, lot of, that's that's a lot of fun. Yeah, for sure. All right, um, let me get and you're done with your games, right? Yeah, yeah. So I'll I'll go through mine. We've already talked about the order, and it all. I have actually haven't played the order recently, but I'm gonna play that again now. I think. Yeah. Uh, I I want to play through it again. Uh, I bought Limbo the other day, which I finished on PS3 and on Vita, and I played a little bit on 360. Uh, play through it, and uh, now I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna stream part of it as well. I think 